Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another macrame tutorial. Tis the season for holiday crafting. So I thought it fitting that we are going to make a macrame Christmas tree ornament today. You can use this for your tree, your wreaths, your wall hangings, gift tags, whatever you want to use it for. Um, it is a great size. It's perfect for um, any kind of last minute um, additions to gifts or you know teacher appreciation, anything like that. Um, and you only need a few little materials and three basic macrame knots. The overhand knot, the square knot, and the gathering knot. That's it. It's very beginner friendly and you can get it done in a few minutes. It's legit that simple. <laughs> so all you're going to need is some cotton cord and this happens to be three millimeter thickness. You can use any kind of thickness you want to use. Just keep in mind that the thicker your cord, the more um, length you're going to need to add to your measurements, which will be in the description box below for this specific one. So again, this one's three millimeter and all of the, all of the measurements for this particular size will be in the description box below. And then you'll need some scissors, some measuring tape or a ruler, something to where you can measure your cord out and then something to attach your working project to. So, um, I'm using a clipboard here, or you can use some tape or um, a garment rack with some S hooks, whatever your fancy, whatever you got lying around. That's it, that's all you need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first piece that we're gonna cut from your cord is a 20 inch piece. So 20 inches and you're gonna fold it in half to make 10 inches on each cord, okay? Then we're going to tie our overhand knot and that is all we're going to do with this piece of cord. So how I do it is um, I fold it in half, I loop the right, over and under it's just like tying a knot it is tying a knot da, da, da. <laughs> and then i adjust it to where i feel the loop is wide enough to um, go over a variety of things such as a tree limb um, so about a finger width and then some if that makes any sense at all to you because it does to me <laughs> and then that's it we attach it to whatever we are um, attaching it to the clipboard or the tape and that is it that's all that we do so this doesn't get moved other than from side to side or whatever to um, move around the knots that you're making everything else is just one knot so we take a next cord our next cord cutting excuse me and this is going to be five times the total length of your stationary cold cord folded over. So since this is 10 inches, we're going to times five by 10 and that's 50. And then I added like 10 extra inches just because I like a little bit of uh, extra length because you can cut it off. You can't put it back on very well. So a little bit extra is great. Some of us like to not a little bit tighter than others. So that plays a role in um, your uh, measurements. So that's why I say eh, give it a little bit extra. So we're going to fold that in half. And this is the trickiest part of the whole thing. We're going to put that halfway mark right under our stationary cords. And then we're going to start our square knot. So our left cord crosses over to the right and you're going to see it looks almost like a four or an L. So now that this is over to the right, we're going to take our um, right cord, place it over our left cord. And then we're not done yet. We have to take this right cord, place it under the stationary and then through that loop that the left cord made. Okay, and so then it should look like this and you're going to tighten it and make sure it's all the way up at the top. Tighten it again, adjust where needed, and that's half of the knot. So we're going to do the same thing, but opposite. We're going to make a backwards four with our right length. Our left length goes over the right, 
under the stationary and through the loop here. And it should look pretty similar. And we're going to slide it up and tighten it. So it should look like that for you. It's very, very simple. This is the only knot that you're going to be using throughout this project. The only difference is what we do next. And that is we're going to play with the lengths of the branches here. And my thing is moving. <laughs> so we're going to play with the lengths here. And all that is is where we start our square knot. That's how we adjust it. It's that easy. So again, we're going to make a four. Put the right over the left like that. The right goes under the stationary and through that loop through the four. All right. So do you see where the branches are going to start forming? These loops make these loops. Does that make sense? If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to make this as easy and visual as I can. So we're going to scooch it up just a scotch. And then this side is going to be the exact opposite. So backwards four, ah, backwards four. This goes over under the stationary and through that loop. And if it helps you to tape this little area down, you can do that as well. So it doesn't fly all over the place. And then you just tighten that up. And then this is the magic part. You just scooch it up. And then it makes those little branches. I like to pull them out a little bit, adjust when you need to. And that's your first little tiered branch. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go a little bit faster with my square knots and then um, show you exactly how I do the next branches. You can adjust accordingly as soon as you get your first little half of your square knot done. So that might be too, see how it's a little too even? So you just pull it down and adjust it a little bit longer down the cord, and then you finish your square knot. So that is it. You wanna make sure that both sides are even here. Both little loops are coming out even. And then you slide it up. So then you see how this second loop is a little bit longer than the first. That's all you're going to do for the rest of this project. So I'll do another little one and then I'll speed it up and I'll catch you back at the very last one. So make a loop, go under and over or under and through, excuse me. Huh. Okay, and that one's a little bit longer, perfect. So now I'm going to finish this square knot off. Make sure these sides are even. All right, and slide up. And there you have it. So I'm going to continue to finish all the way down here and I will meet you down at the very last one and then I'll show you how to finish it off. All right, guys, be right back. Okay. So I've got most of it finished. I'm on my last one. So again, make a four, cross that over under and through. So I don't know if I said in my last one, but the longer you, um, stretch this down, the larger the branches are going to be. So hopefully <laughs> that makes sense. Hopefully this tutorial makes sense. Um, been trying to film it all day, but 
between the dogs and the weather and the craziness, things happen. All right. So we are now at the last branch and we need to finish this off. How we do that is we get 10 inches of another piece of cord and we're going to make a gathering knot. Now this might be a little bit difficult to see. I'm going to try to do my best here for you guys. You're going to gather all of them in like a little group here. Grab all of the string that you're ending with. Take your 10 inch one, leave a little tail up there, and now make a loop. So fold it in half. This, the longer end, goes around the whole thing and we're gonna start wrapping it till we get to the end of the loop here. So wrap, 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 wrap. And when we feel like we can't wrap it around anymore, we're gonna stick that tail end through the loop we made. All right, so then we're gonna pull that end up and through the wrap. You want that little nubbin to go underneath just like that. And that's it. That is your tree. And then you just adjust accordingly. So I pull it up a little bit. Just these, and you're good to go. So all that's left is to cut the little bits off. Ooh, not the loop. Okay. Tuck those in, just adjust, just adjust. And then I take and make an even cut for the little tassel here. And if you wanna leave it like that, that's perfectly fine. Or you can take the ends of the tassel here and if it's a cotton cord that you can easily unwind, you can take each one and unwind it like this to create a fuller bottom or a fuller tassel. And it should end up like this. And that's it, that's all you That's all you gotta do. So I hope this has helped. I hope this gives you inspiration to make your own little ornaments. And if you have any questions or have concerns about it, let me know down in the comment section below. If this has helped you, let me know as well. Give it a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed because I have more crafting videos coming. I do um, tarot pick a card readings and tarot, um, and Oracle deck reviews. My channel's kind of all over the place and I kind of like it that way. <laughs> so um, let me know if this has helped you and um, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.